Hello everyone, this is DJ from GuardFarm.net Academy and in this short tutorial I will show you how to use compositing to enhance your frames. In the previous tutorial I have shown you how to render a camera fly-through animation, a sequence of frames rendered to a multi-layer ESR with multiple render passes. So I'll show you now how to use those passes to get some cool effects and enhance your renders. Let's jump straight into Blender. <laughs> So we have our frames rendered and let's just drop in the first frame here, drag and drop to our compositing editor. And there you go, because we rendered uh, all the passes to one multi-layer EXR, we have all of these passes available here. Let's quickly add an output viewer node so that we can see what's going on and let's plug in this one and we have a backdrop picture. So as you can see the raw render doesn't look like perfect. We can maybe uh, zoom out a little bit to see the whole picture and to get the overall impression. It's a little bit underexposed so we just need to add some small color correction nodes. I like to use the RGB curves. They are quite simple and you can very easily get brighter effect going. Maybe the dark shadows, let's keep them deeper and just brighten up the highlights. Just like that. The thing is a little bit reddish because of the whole brick stuff here, so let's maybe decrease the level of red just a tiny bit. It's all over the picture. Now it's getting bluish. So generally you can play with it to get the settings that you want. So the real power of the compositor is that the, when you set up the node tree once for a single frame, it will process all of the sequence one by one. And you can change here from single image to an image sequence. And this way Blender will know that this treats all of the frames in the catalog they are stored in as a sequence. You just have to set up uh, the number of frames. So we have 44 frames and then you can just use the timeline to toggle between the frames. So if you want to, for example, view frame 20, you can go to frame 20 and you can see it automatically updated frame that you're viewing. And what I wanted to add is just a little bit of glare in the window and uh, to make these lights pop a little bit. So. Pretty simple compositing tricks, nothing fancy. So let's use the first filter, glare. Let's plug it in. And it's a little bit strong, so this is like a streaks effect. I'd rather this to be a fog glow. This is just like a bloom effect in the windows. I think it's, it adds up nice. Touch, maybe it's a little bit too strong. Just try out different settings. Let me see another pass, uh, that is emit pass. And the emission pass gives us just these tiny light spots here. So let's first view these ones and let's add a filter blur to this one. And there you go, just a little bit of blur. Make it fast Gaussian so it's really fast. Now we'll just add this with a color node, color mix set up to the screen, these two images. So let me show you the difference, as you can see the lights here and if you press M it mutes the node, it just adds a little bit more of this glow and I want it to be even like stronger so let's maybe Let's just for a second plug this one solo once again. We can lower the gamma a bit. 0.9 will be great. I mean 0.8. And now let's maybe increase the, the blur just a little bit. And now let's see if you put a screen have this little glow effect. Let's 
maybe nothing like super fancy, but the overall effect gets this little touch. So these little things like matter to the final overall effect. Maybe I'll also add another screen node just to mix this with uh, the environment. Plug it into the viewer. Maybe not screen, but add. There you go. You can see pops the light in the windows, and let's maybe also take care that it's a little bit blurred. So let's just add a fast Gaussian blur to this one as well. Maybe too much of a blur here, so let's just keep it like three. Yeah, I think it's, that's it for compositing. Of course, these are just like basic tricks. You can do much more with the compositor. Right now, we're just scratching the surface. Scratch it off the scratch it off the scratch it off the surface. So we can now check the settings. So the size is okay. Frames. Let's set up the output catalog. We have everything ready. Uh, it's set up to PNG, RGBA. It can be just RGB, we don't need an alpha here. Let's also be sure that uh, the post-processing is set up to compositing. Sequencer is not necessary, because we didn't use the video sequence editor. So let's be sure that we plug the final node of our setup to the compositing node, because this is our output node that will output the final composite frame to the, to the new files. So let's now Render, render animation, or press Ctrl F12. And it will run for some time, but a lot faster than a real render because it's just compositing the image. It should be a few minutes, depending on the speed of your computer. Going from these raw renders to the compositing frames. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope you liked it. And if you liked it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And click the bell button to get notified whenever new releases come out. Now just go on and play with the compositor yourself to make your renders great again.